everybody welcome back I'm back with the sea star and tonight's target is going to be the bubble nebula I expect to take about an hour's worth of images got some fireworks going over here NGC 7635 there it is let's go gazing Finding object. It is kind of windy out here. I've got my uh, ASI Air and AVX taking an image of M16. Tomorrow I plan to um, use my Edge HD to get a good image of the Pillars of Creation. Tonight I'm using the um, Astrotech 72mm to get a wide field general uh, image of the Eagle Nebula. So that's what's going on tonight while I'm doing that. I'm gonna be checking out the uh, Bubble Nebula. It says the object is centered so let's go ahead and take some pictures. First what I've learned to do is do an autofocus beforehand. And so we're autofocusing You know, I got to tell you, after I've started to create auto these, completed. right, autofocusing is complete. I got to tell you, after starting to create some of these videos, um, I have come to realize how noisy my backyard really is. So anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's uh, start taking some images and enhancing to uh, see how many uh, images we can get before the bubble starts showing up. And then, of course, after about an hour or so, to see the uh, final product at the end of the video. Here we go. Uh, it's doing a calibration here, and I have to wonder whether this calibration is similar to the calibration that you see on the ASI Air for uh, guiding, or it could be calibrating the leveling of the telescope. I'm not sure. I, it kind of looks like uh, where it talks about moving to the first calibration point does kind of look like it's um, yeah it does look like it might be um, doing a level because it's calibrating the horizontal status and even though I do have a newer uh, leveler that uh, you've seen a bunch of videos about on YouTube probably for the C star to get a great level to easy way to get a level I never really um, get asked to level with the Sea Star S50 unless I'm trying to image the moon. So horizontal calibration failed, moving to origin. Maybe this is where I have to level my scope. Object is centered. Preparing for image intensity. So yeah, all I did is put the tripod, uh, C-Star on the tripod and just start imaging. I never went to even check the level because as I said, what I've noticed is if it needs to be level, it will ask you to level. So maybe I'm going to find out I need to put the newer leveler on and uh, look to do some leveling calibration. All right, guess not. So maybe next time, folks. But I'm not going to put the leveler on unless I actually need to. So. Yeah, looks like something's starting to come through on the bubble. Uh, pretty cool. All right, we've almost taken about a minute's worth of images here. See some nebulosity showing up. And it looks like the, uh, here's another thing, it looks like the Sea Star automatically selected the light pollution filter because I'm imaging a nebula. And that's the one thing about the Sea Star is it will 
automatically select the filter if you're imaging a nebula you can shut it off if you want and override that if you're shooting a galaxy the filter will be turned off and the IR cut filter will be turned on and I see no way to uh, be able to actually manipulate the individual filters as such maybe that will be in a different um, maybe it'll be in a subsequent firmware upgrade but you can see the uh, oh you can see some of the bubbles starting to come out here and you can see the graininess of the noise in the background and the way that um, that I will enhance this image is to hit this with uh, Topaz Denoise. Uh, even though I am saving the FITS files to be stacked later in um, Deep Sky Stacker, if I want to do normal Deep Sky Imaging enhancements, I seem to do better when I hit this um, arrow right here and take a snapshot and save that to the album. After about an hour or so, I will do that again. And that will be the image that I uh, hit with Topaz Denoise. I might possibly stretch it a little bit in Photoshop, but that will be what I display at the end of the video and probably on the thumbnail for this video. But yeah, this is looking pretty cool. So we will check back in about an hour or so once the Bubble Nebula has um, had that much integration time. This should build up pretty uh, nice from what I've seen of the sea star with previous deep sky object images. All right, well, after two hours of imaging, we are done with the bubble nebula and check out the results. Clear skies, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you.